Hello my fellow Subnauticans, today we're going to go to get the habitat builder early in the game and also the mineral detector. First off, let's make the sea glider. First, we need to go head out and find the three sea glider fragments. Thankfully, uh, the fragments are nearby. So now we've got the th uh, three fragments, we can now make the sea glider. To make the sea glider, we need a battery, lubricant, which I've already got from the last episode, copper wire, and titanium. Since we've already got copper, we're going to make the copper wire. And to make the battery, a river, two rubber plants and copper ore. Now we can now make the sea glider. The sea glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Now that we've got the sea glider, we can head out and head to a floating cage platform. First off, I'm going to head around about south on the compass, and we should see a electric spark underwater. Shouldn't be that far out from the life pod. And it's going to be kind of difficult to find depending on the location uh, or where your life pod is dropped as well. There's the spa, and that's where it is. Head up onto the ladder. And on the left here on the table, you should see a mineral detector fragment. Head down back on the off the ladder. Blueprint synthesized. Head between south, west, and west. And we're going to go down about 100 meters. You'll see uh, some sharks around. Don't worry, just try and dodge them or stay away from them. The sea glider can escape uh, you quite easily. Just down here, you should see a small Warning. building. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Head in. You should see a fragment. Head back out. And you should get a chip that gives you the bioreactor. Quickly head up so you can get some oxygen. And then head back to your life pod. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. If uh, please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you next time. See us.